The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how a polycorrelation correlation can be calculated in SPSS. Now the alternatives available to you are not within the menu options, and the one that I recommend is a paper published by uh, Lorenzo of Seva and Ferrando, who published a syntax file that can calculate a polycorrelation correlation in an article published in Behavior Research Methods. So I encourage you to look at this paper and also take note that there's supplementary material. And when you get the supplementary material, you'll be able to download the syntax file that you need to conduct the analysis. Here we go. We've got supplementary material here. And you can find the relevant syntax in the article as well in terms of an extract that can be manipulated by the user. And I'll show you what those manipulations include. So this is the syntax file that can be used to calculate the polycorrelation. correlation. And in this example, I'm going to use the socioeconomic status in reading example, which is published in the textbook. And from memory, the correlation was something like 0.398 between socioeconomic status in reading. And arguably, a polycorrelation correlation would be more appropriate in this case, because the data are scored on a very limited ordinal nature. So the alternatives you have to manipulate include the path. You're going to want a path that sends the information to a directory that is available in the computer. So I've got this in the D drive. You'll also want to manipulate the options with respect to priors. And I selected weak prior, and I'd probably select that in every case, unless there's a very compelling reason to change it to something other than weak prior. Now, bootstrapping, I should note that unless you have a fairly powerful computer, and this is the year 2016, and I have quite a powerful computer right now. It's a sixth generation i7 CPU with eight gigs of RAM. It's really the CPU processor that's going to determine the speed at which this will be executed. And I can tell you that even with just 200 resamples, it does take a little bit of time, and I'll actually time it and let you know how long it takes. And so I'm going to do the bootstrapping. And I have here the double bootstrap option, which I'm not going to select. So I'm just going to use the ordinary bootstrap approach. And finally, 95% confidence interval, 0.95. And a smoothing option is going to be used, which won't really be necessary in this case, because I'm just calculating a bivariate correlation. But if you had a correlation matrix that you wanted to calculate, you might consider smoothing will come into play in a more serious way, or actually it will come into play to some degree. So to run the analysis, once you've selected all these options and you have your data file open, which I have here, you can run the analysis. And I'm going to run it. And then the bootstrapping is going to take probably about two minutes. And then I'll come back with the results. So the output is produced by the program once the program's terminated. And we can see that the Pearson correlation was reported first. And this is the correlation you'd get from SPSS if you had just run it through the menu option, 0.393 rounded. And here's the polycore correlation, a more accurate estimate of the correlation between socioeconomic status and reading, given the coarse nature with which SES and reading were measured. So we would expect this to be a more accurate representation of the effect in the population if we had used continuously scored measures for socioeconomic status in reading. Doesn't mean that that is the accurate estimate, but it is a better estimate. And we have here the significance associated with the correlations in terms of lower bound and upper bound. And we can see that the lower bound is as low as 0 0.066, and the upper bound is 0.61, because those two 95% confidence intervals are both on the same side, which in this case is positive. We would declare the correlation to be statistically significant. So that's how you can run a polycorrelation correlation in, in SPSS. And you also have the added option of using the bootstrap utility to estimate the statistical significance.